Hey guys, it's Carrie. I'm back with another Hair Adorables Hair Amazing review. Uh, first off, I think this is going to be the last Hair Adorables that we review for this series, so I'm kind of sad. It's bittersweet. <laughs> and also, before I start the review, I'd like to thank um, everybody for subscribing. I I've been getting a lot of new subscribers, and that's cool. It's awesome to know that I'm not just talking to myself, and there's actually other people on the end that are enjoying and watching my videos. But I'm going to get into this be uh, before starting to babble too much. Uh, so, uh, like I've said in all the other videos, it says on the front that there's six six surprises inside. Um, this is Dee Dee. I'm going to go ahead and get this part off. I could probably do that off camera. Okay, let's get this open up here. See what kind of walkway she's got, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it's cool. Oh, wow, it's cool. This is very, very deedy. Oh, here's her box art on the inside, guys. So, I don't know if we're going to get a hat like that. Look at those earrings and that purse. And sweet and salty, it says on her socks. Okay. All right. They don't do that bad of a job. The sunglasses aren't in here, though. I, I, it worries me because it looks like they're attached by thread, and I'm not taking those off. No way, guys. All right, so her um, walkway here has a bunch of neon lights. We got a cupcake there, a donut, a piece of candy, another cupcake, and a different design, and another piece of candy. Candy, donut, cupcakes, all on the walkway. And it's all done in this brick, this lit-up brick. It reminds me of some kind of um, club. Definitely a club. Okay, and that was our instructions I just threw over there. So let's start with our first surprise. And then we'll, we'll pull her out after. We'll see what she's got to put on first. Let's see what our bags look like. Oh, this is a really big one, and I think it's the hat that she's wearing up here. Uh, so they're a dark pink, and they say Dee Dee all over them. Uh, hair adorable, hair amazing, big hair, still don't care. Let's see, guys. Yep, it's a hat. It's a beret. Which, um, isn't far from something that she would wear as her younger version. It is hard plastic, though, so we're gonna see how that fits on her head. And it's, um, a light pink versus the dark pink that shows in her, in her artwork there. So it's a little bit different. So with, uh, a box number, I mean... Surprise number two here. Pull that, that was big too. Well, as I knock her hat down. All right. Let's see what we got in here, guys. Whoops. Okay. We got two things. We got our brush, which is a round brush. Uh, I think we've seen the round brush before. It could be a different round brush. Maybe I'll do another video on all the brushes. <laughs> but this one's gold, and like all the previous brushes that we've seen. Um, it's got a texture that makes it look like it's got a wooden handle. The nicer brushes. Here's her shoes. They're kind of a, they're not quite transparent. They're kind of like a jelly texture. And, uh, they're, I wonder if they, they, they have a glow in the dark look. They probably don't glow in the dark, but they have that glow in the dark color. You guys know what I mean. Uh, it's a bluish, almost transparent, I guess. And if you can see that in the, video. I'm not sure if you can. It does have sparkles that are embedded in it. And it has a painted gold uh, clasp for the strap. That was a very cool detail. That didn't need to be done, but they're noticeable details. They're like details that people that actually that uh, customize dolls would think about doing if they didn't have them there to begin with. So that's that was a cool thought. Alright, this is a small one. I don't know what this could be. Maybe it's her purse. Okay, let's see here. Oh, no, the earrings. So we have these big earrings. Uh, one is transparent green. And one is transparent dark pink. And there are big circles and little circles. This is what we got for our fourth surprise. Our fourth surprise is this pretty awesome pink, almost transparent, I think it is transparent, yeah, it's pink transparent um, tote bag that you can obviously fit stuff in, and it has a face that's done in brown paint, 
and has a tongue sticking out. I don't I don't know if it's a hungry tongue. No, it's not a hungry tongue. It's a silly tongue. And then we also got the base for our stand, which is in silver like all the rest that say Hair Durables on it. And that's the top clip. So we're going to go ahead and take our girl out now and we'll put all our accessories on and then we'll do a final look. Okay guys, I got her all dressed up. Uh, let's just go over a quick review with her. First off, let me just let me, you know this hat. There's no way to click it on her head or keep it on her head. So a stampede of craziness goes by your doll room or doll display is probably going to fall off because it's it's not sturdy on there at all. So I may just keep it off uh, because these glasses are threaded to her head. So let me start with saying how gorgeous I think her hair is. There's no product in it at all. <laughs> I'm probably messed mine up a little bit. It came in two different, it came in like one big giant curl and then one curl over here in the front. But uh, I think it's supposed to be, yeah, see there's that one curl. I think it's all supposed to be like just curly and that's kind of how it came. So she has two tone hair. She's got a light turquoise on one side and a, what's the like a cotton candy pink on the other side. She has uh, this wrap that wraps around here and wraps around here and then comes into a ponytail here. So it's kind of a twisty ponytail thing. And then she has one shorter twisty right there that's going to go in the front. I don't know how it got wrapped around. i got to fix her stand. Because the stand just definitely doesn't agree with her outfit. Either way, moving on to her eyebrows. They're a dark pink eyebrow. She has a also a pink eyeshadow. But let's see if I can get you guys a closer look here. Uh, let's see. You gonna focus for me? Yes. So basically, she has party, party, uh, eyeshadow where there you can see like a, a bunch of pastel colored dots in there. So you see blue dots, and you see pink dots, and you see white dots, and yellow dots, and then there's stars in there. And it's all on top of like a base of a light pink eyeshadow. Her eyes, I'd want to say, are violet. And they're looking up and to the left. Up and to the left. Up and to the right. Either way. <laughs> really pretty eyes. And then she has a, a hot pink lips that are closed. A little bit of cheek blushing. Uh, she has a darker complexion. Not quite dark. Not quite light. Somewhere in the medium. I guess medium complexion. Uh, she comes wearing, I think, a two-piece. Uh, short overalls. That are supposed to simulate jean material, I believe. But there's a bunch of different colored sprinkles on top. Her snaps are a um, pleather, or I guess a plastic, a thin plastic transparent round button that has uh, white painted twists in it to make it look like candy. And those straps, and those are uh, attached to the straps that have ribbon ones that go all the way in the back, kind of like suspenders. In a way, she has a long sleeve t-shirt on underneath uh, that is white and pink, diagonal striped, pinstriped. She's also wearing these long socks on the bottom here that are yellow and white striped. Well, just white, a couple of white stripes on the top. And there's red uh, printing on them, and it says sweet and salty on both ends. So that's cool. Um, I'm gonna go fight with this stand again. <laughs> Hold on. As for articulation, uh, we have articulation in the shoulder joints, elbow joints, and wrist joints. Uh, she also has, uh, right below her breast, there is a, um, another twist. Another twisty joint there. Uh, she has thigh joints. Well, you call them hip joints, I guess. That, uh, her legs go apart and forward. She has knee joints as well. Uh, these shoes were weird to get on. I guess I was expecting for them to be so hard to get on because they're so jelly-like. And then I kept saying to myself, they're not in all the way, they're not in all the way, but they are. Because uh, if you, they are a little bit transparent, so you can see where her, where her toe is. And it's right at the end, so those are on. Uh, they look weird with these socks, though, because they don't really clasp that well in the back. And the socks look kind of baggy. But uh, either way, um, I think the color pick was right. Also, these earrings are very clunky, guys, and they're and they're stiff. I wish that they put a joint between the two 
uh, circles so that there was more flexibility with them because they basically just, they're so big that they get in the way and they're hard too. So it does cover her, her, um, pedophore, what do you call it? Her ruffles on the top, which leads me to, to, uh, the question as to why it's going to be hard for you guys to see, but the ruffle on that side is bigger than the ruffle on that side somehow. And I thought it might have something to do with the earrings, but I don't know. Either way. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's basically all we have for you guys today. I'm going to figure out how to get her on the stand because of how loose this is right here, how loose fitting this is. It just doesn't agree with the tight stand. So, but we'll figure it out. Um, overall, I really like her. I like her a lot more than I thought I was going to like her. It is a shame about the hat, though. I probably won't be using it because uh, I'm not brave enough to take those glasses off. I feel like that that's kind of... They're, they're, it's, they're embedded into her hairstyle. If I pull those glasses off, I'm never going to fix her hair again. So I'm not brave. <laughs> I'm a chicken. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.